Tango for me is more than just a dance. It represents who we are and it has a lot of meaning for me and it's just a way of, of living. There's different types within Argentinian tango. You have the milonga music, then you have um, tango vals, and then you have the um, salon tango, or a tango that's sort of improvised um, with the tango music, the original. So. Tango is a really great um, form of exercise. It's um, excellent for joints, for movement, for posture. It gives you body awareness, so it improves even, a lot of our students have said that it improves the way they walk in everyday life, improves their awareness of their posture. There's actually, that's one of the amazing things about tango, there's no age limit. There is a, a say, which say, you don't find tango, the tango has to find you. So basically, it can, get to you at any age. Um, the embrace is the most important, one of the most, well, the most important part of tango because when we come into embrace we form um, a connection with our partner and we form a circular energy around our partner. So walking with your partner, we want to walk together. So we don't want to one of us walk ahead or one of us walk behind our partner. So when we're walking, it's generally, um, we start walking for the lady walking backwards and the leader, uh, the man walking forward. Um, so the pivoting uh, is very important because uh, this is the second area that we create energy. So um, in tango, one of the really important aspects we call dissociation is when um, our upper body can be facing a different direction to our hips and our lower body. And sometimes I am in a place where they don't speak much English, I don't speak the language that they speak, and even that, we dance. And then we share a really big connection, maybe for a few minutes, and then we say thank you, and maybe I won't see her again. It's emotion, it's embrace, um, and it's also about the culture for me. For me, it's a language. Argentine tango, the communication is, is a, a language.